There are over 640,000 home carers in Taiwan. Most are in their 50s and 60s. The heavy burden of looking after their aging and ailing relatives builds up over the years, often leading to exhaustion, depression, and sometimes even suicide. But in our continuing series of feature reports on Taiwan's aging population, we find out how one 66-year-old daughter copes with looking after her 86-year-old mother, who suffers from Alzheimer's. This white haired pair are mother and daughter. The mother is 86 and the daughter 66. The sight of the old looking after the even older is becoming more common in Taiwan. Today, daughter Liao Lan Zhen has been invited to give a speech to university students on my senile mother. <laughs> Oh, 看看。Yeah, Looking after a senile dementia sufferer is not easy. To stop a mother deteriorating too quickly, Yao Lan Zhen has come up with some of her own memory exercises. I taught students for over 30 years, so I took that school experience of teaching children and revived it. Yet, no matter how hard she works, nothing can stop her mother's memory fading. Going along with whatever her mother says, Liao Lan Zhen says she has to exercise patience to deal with the Alzheimer's sufferer. We have to take everything she says as the first time. Everything is a new start. It's a tiring job, but the enthusiastic Liao Lan Zhen works hard to keep her octogenarian mother happy. <laughs> Elementary school teacher Liao Lan Zhen took early retirement so that she could look after her mother full time. The person you can see now compared to four years ago is about 10 kilos thinner. In the first three months, I lost over 10 kilos. Home carers are 80% female. We work out that these home carers work for an average of 13.55 hours a day. Most home carers can sleep continuously for an average of four hours. The vast majority of home carers are women. Other statistics show that 20% suffer from depression in the first two years, and 87% suffer chronic mental exhaustion. Meanwhile, their infirm relatives lose contact with their social circle within an average of two years. To avoid becoming reclusive, Liao Lian Zhen often takes her mother outside. Knowing the pressure her fellow caregivers are under, Liao Lian Zhen always finds half a day a week to come here. Liao 
Chen Zhen is a volunteer at the hospice ward of Taipei Ciji Hospital, where she uses her musical talents to help family members relax. When these carers or people under their care feel in a better mood, even if it's only a moment, I think it's worth coming. When she's not caring for her mother, Yao Lanzhen somehow finds the energy to help other carers relax and pay attention to their own emotional health so that they will have the heart to keep going. Yeah.